Hello there, my name is Todd Conaway, and uh, I will be the moderator here for week three. Um, and to tell you a little bit about myself, and then a little bit uh, maybe about course design uh, and, and what I know about course design. Um, so my name is Todd Conaway, and I work with teachers in a small community college in the middle of Arizona. Um, I'm just super lucky. Um, I love to talk about schooling and talk about teaching spaces and wonder what works and what doesn't. And um, I've been pretty lucky to have a, a real diverse uh, background in academic spaces um, from a very liberal, liberal arts school where we spent tons of time outside and writing in journals to uh, a couple of years in an online space. And uh, I was a classroom teacher, a high school English teacher for 10 years, and I've been teaching at the community college for about 12 years, both face-to-face -face and online. So um, I've been really lucky to, to be in those situations. Um, and I love talking to teachers and wondering about schooling. I think it's really um, it's an important part of what we do as a, as a society. So anyway, that's what I'm doing, uh, my job. Uh, I am the moderator of, of the third week here in the class, and I uh, hope you're all enjoying it so far. It's, um, it's a great challenge uh, to wonder about these spaces and what works best and what doesn't. Um, I do think that um, as far as designing courses, sometimes that is taken away from teachers in, in many cases, whether it's at a, a university that gives you a like a canned course um, or somebody, something that somebody else developed and you are to, uh, to moderate it or, or to, um, you know, help students along, um, to even just the LMS that a school provides you with, sometimes just the, the very structure of that LMS um, dictates how you teach. So, um, you know, I'm not, I don't want to talk about the Addy model or um, some of the things that um, maybe in, this, in the text that you're going to read. Um, I would like to say that course design certainly should um, be something that, that that fits the, the users and the need and the purpose. Um, and sometimes one thing um, doesn't do that well. You know, um, sometimes classrooms that you walk into in a physical classroom where all the desks are uh, facing in, in one direction. You know, if your teaching style is m one more of group, small group work, uh, right there, you know, you, there's a, that's a huge dilemma for, for a teacher to walk into. Hopefully they've done some reconnaissance and, and figured these things out beforehand, but that's not unlike um, web spaces that um, when, it, when you're designing a space, if you're able to do that, um, you know, some of those things are pre, pre-dictated by, by institutions and, and that's a challenge. Uh, we hear, we use Blackboard here. Um, but we have a number of uh, teachers who, who use other tools to, to share content or to have students interact. Sometimes that's Facebook, sometimes that is uh, their own websites, uh, sometimes it's a telephone, um, sometimes it's, um, you know, videos that they make or videos that they find. Um, I think that all, you know, it's, it's more of a dance than it is page one, page two, page three. And there's a lot of interpretation and things uh, from a teacher's perspective as what's important and how it gets delivered. Um, those are my thoughts like at kind of at a basic level about um, pondering course design. Um, I'm sure that this class will provide many opportunities for some awesome discussions about um, you know, what works and what doesn't, because I think we're still trying to figure that out. I don't know that uh, anybody's got the right answer yet. So um, anyway, um, I will be in the blogs, I hope, commenting. And if you have any questions, you can always ask me. Um, I really appreciate the, the, uh, the work we're all doing. It's good stuff.